think it's very important for people to care because it is such an essential quality of being human. We all have different things that we care about. And I think um, as individuals, those nuances contribute to the larger community and the larger world. My name is Iziana Suhaimi. I am a textile artist. So I work with varying textile materials and also different textile techniques, such as embroidery, weaving, tufting, and more. The title of the artwork, Can You See the Forest for the Trees, is actually inspired by the idiom, Can't See the Forest for the Trees. Meaning when a person is too caught up in the details and they're unable to uh, see the larger picture. So for this artwork, one of the key um, takeaway points that I would like the audience to take is that everybody has a role to play, however small, and that we all contribute to uh, the larger picture. So I started working with textiles um, slightly more than 10 years ago and I first started with embroidery. What attracted me to the medium was its tactility and how I could physically hold the materials in my hands. And I also love its slowness, how it takes time to build up into a final product. Something that I love about handcrafted things is how I feel like there is something of the maker that is being imparted into that work. It makes the work like um, something a little bit more extra special. So usually how I work is that I will have like a picture in my head and then I will choose the materials that will help me to create that artwork. But recently because I've been more focused on sustainable textiles, it has really reversed the process where I'm forced to look at the materials that I have that are readily available to me and then think of what can I make out of these materials and how do I convey the message of sustainable textiles to the audience with these materials. So in a way, it is um, educating the audience or like increasing their awareness to look at textiles in a different way and what happens after, after its end of life. And instead of like throwing it away, or just discarding it. There are other uses that we can use the material again in other ways or in other forms. So I think through the material itself, it is encouraging the audience to show care towards the materials that they surround themselves with, especially when it comes to textiles, where it is really a material that surrounds us in our daily life, that it can, people might overlook it. So it's important for them from this exhibition that they realize that every little thing or like every mundane thing, even something like textiles is something that has an impact in the larger world. It is my hope that the, the children will be able to be more aware of their choices as consumers and that they are able to value the things that surround them in their everyday life. I feel like it's important for us to cultivate this spirit in them to care for the materials that surround them, especially since we're living in such a developed country where um, all of these materials are easily available to us. Uh, we might overlook them or we might not think them as valuable. So I think it is important for the children to develop that spirit of uh, taking care of the things that they have. And so the main intention behind this um, installation is really to invite the kids to become like the co-creators of the artwork. So a significant portion of the artwork will actually be created by the children themselves. So I think it's important that we give them this autonomy uh, where they feel like they have the they have the power or they have a voice in creating something. And my role as an artist is really to be a guide in, in how I set up the space or like the materials that are provided and really for the kids to explore and play with the materials at hand. I think when everyone kind of knows their purpose in life and they're able to know uh, what their contribution is to the world, then they're able to show more care towards other things. They're able to show more care towards the people around them, their environment and the earth.